at the time of trial, can I read pretrial testimony to the jury without actually using that to cross-examine a witness? Would you like to learn what this is all about? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. So now, as your case gets up to trial, we have to go through what's known as the pretrial litigation process, which basically means I'll have an opportunity to question the defense's witnesses, the defense will have an opportunity to question our witnesses. And now, that testimony, the questions and answers, are put together into a booklet. And that's part of the pretrial testimony that's given under oath. The witness swears to tell the truth. And now, at the time of trial, I have the ability to then use those questions and answers, which are now transcribed and put into the form of a booklet. I can now use that to cross-examine a witness. And now I'm going to ask them a similar question or the identical question. And if the witness gives me a wrong answer or a different answer than what they gave a year or two earlier during the pretrial question and answer session, now I can use that booklet, that question and that answer, to now destroy that witness's credibility. And there are different techniques and strategies to do that. And that's one of the key ways we use the pretrial testimony later on at the time of trial. But now here's the real question that I'm asking in this video. Can I still read that testimony that a witness has given without actually using it to cross-examine a particular witness? The answer is, yes I can. So how does that work? So now the judge will ask me to call my next witness. Your Honor, at this time I'd like to read the jury pretrial sworn testimony by Mr. Jones, the defendant in this case. All right, Counselor, go ahead. And now I'm going to open up the transcript. I will have to tell my adversary, the defense, what page and what line I'm starting on. I have to give the judge a copy of the transcript so the judge will be able to follow along. And now I'm going to turn to the jury and I'm going to say page 125, line 7. Question, Mr. Jones, isn't it true that on this particular day you did X, Y, and Z? Answer, yes I did. And now I'm going to go ahead and read an entire series of questions. And it doesn't just have to be on that one page. Now I'm going to go to the next page. And one of the things that I can do using pretrial testimony is to use it as part of our case to support our claim. So now the jury will have additional evidence of what it is that occurred. And I don't actually have to use that specifically to cross-examine a witness at the time of trial. It can be a very effective use of pretrial testimony during the course of trial. So why do I share this information with you? You know, I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding to what goes on during the trial process. This is just one of the key trial strategies that we can use with pretrial testimony. You know, I realize you're watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, again, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487. 8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.